played really well in the game. Uh, probably the best thing we did, you see it on the stat page, but you don't, maybe, maybe some of you noticed it and some of you didn't, but we had, we had the ball for 13 minutes and 42 seconds in the fourth quarter. And uh, they, they had a minute and 18. So we, we dominated the, the fourth quarter, and, and uh, that's one of our goals every week. I don't know if I've ever had that big of a discrepancy in time in the fourth quarter like that. So that was that was really good. I, you know, obviously uh, uh, Michael played really well, uh, conference player of the week. Uh, I thought towards the end of the ball game we ran the ball well. Uh, you know, did a good job uh, with the offensive line, getting some good push. Uh, I thought defensively we were very opportunistic. We had five takeaways which is outstanding. Uh, you know, didn't give up uh, very many big plays. I think we had one play over 20 yards in the game defensively. And then for the first game, you always worry about special teams kind of coming in and off the field. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of substitution, understanding situations. Had a couple milk situations with our field goal teams. And they really executed that well. Uh, so for the first game, you know, there's a lot of things to be pleased with. Uh, obviously, we got a you know, tough ball game this weekend. You know, we're going to be a sellout here at Yeoman Stadium. Ole Miss, uh, you know, a very strong team, big, tall, long, fast. Uh, you know, really, really took care of business last Saturday. So we're going to have to play a lot better than we did last Saturday. Can you say anything? He's fine. I got one guy I'm going to. Unfortunately, Corey Platt is going to be out this weekend. So we'll find out the extent. Otherwise, all hands on deck. I think it's going to be great. I think it's, it's going to be uh, outstanding. I just, you know, I. I've gotten a ton of phone calls. This might be good for me to say it right here. Please keep quit calling me. Uh, everybody keeps wanting tickets. I say it's a sellout. Well, all I need is one. It's a sellout. I just need one. It's a sellout. There aren't any more tickets. So, uh, you know, that's uh, uh, that's great. We're, we're very, very excited about it. So are the players. Coach, how different is this team that you have now compared to the team that played on this two years ago? Oh, I think there's a, a lot of differences. Uh, you know, that was, that was probably uh, one of the longest days of my life. <laughs> we, we went there and we were, uh, I, I made a mistake of bringing every single player on our team to the game. The locker room is about as big as this room right here. And we were, I think we had a four hour delay, something like that. So it was uh, not very good on my part. I should have thought about that, not brought 100 and 20 guys for a locker room that probably was made for about 50, you know, and then it was pouring down and everything else, and then they were they were on fire. They they got after us. They did a good job. So hopefully a lot of difference. What, what do you think you've improved the most in those kind of? And what did that game tell you, coach? Which game is that? The Ole Miss game. Two years, oh, two years ago. Oh, just uh, I thought we had a tough time with. Uh, you know, just getting lined up with the tempo and some things like that. And we, we've worked on that a bunch. So that's probably one thing I, you know, there's a lot of differences, you know, new, new play caller on offense. Uh, you know, it's it's coach, their head coach's scheme, but I think they got a different play caller defensively, new coordinator, uh, new coordinator and special team. So a lot of different philosophies that they're doing right now. So, you know, we got, you know, when, you, when you're playing these games early in the season and you got new, People on the other side who are calling things, you got to look at, you know, where they were at last year, the year before that, and then, um, you know, and then also game one. Obviously, he's a different player than he was. What's two, that? Obviously, he's a different player than he was two years ago. But Michael Pratt barely had 170 passing yards. What do you need to see out of him Saturday to have a better chance? Oh, just you know, hey, it's it's making good decisions. You know, it's it's always the key. You know, there's there's so much on the quarterback. And, you know, we got to do a good job of putting the game plan together. You, know, you want it to be complex, but not too complex. And luckily, he's a smart guy. Uh, Jackson Dart, uh, the guy that's a returning starter for Ole Miss, had a really good game last week. Just can you say what you've seen from him on film? Maybe what impressed you about Dart? Well, he can 
run run really well too. You know, a, a lot of people uh, at one point in time they were, uh, you know, really people would consider that style of offense to be a, a passing offense. There, there were I think they were third in the nation last year rushing the ball. You know, so they really run the ball effectively, and uh, the quarterback's a big part of that. And, and then he throws it great too. You know, got a lot of experienced guys back there. They got second team guy is uh, one of the top quarterbacks in the history of Oklahoma State. Third team guys, a really good player too. So they got they got some excellent depth there. The receiver Trey Harris, I think, had four touchdowns last week. How do you contain a guy like that? Well, you know, it's just the, the one thing you want to try to do is you stay over the top. You know, there's three types of leverage over the top, outside and inside out, and that's it. The most important one is over the top leverage. And we got to do a good job of a. Uh, Playing with leverage, tackling, they're going to run the ball on us a bunch, you know, and then uh, make them earn their yards throwing the ball. You know, it's easier said than done. How do you analyze game film? I mean, they put an Austin and just like that because of such a talent gap with how they did against Mercer and my team. All formations are formations. You know, plays are plays. And then you compare it to what they did last year. You know, their defensive coordinators at Alabama last year. So, We've done some similarities, obviously, between what they did last week and what he did was he, he was the defense coordinator at Alabama. So, you know, the, 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 the special teams coordinator was at Kansas and Bowling Green and Arkansas State. You know, so you look at those tapes. Well, these are things that you work on in the summer, and then you compare it to what they do in week one. This is true. Is there extra chits in the hot for the football program to carry them to do something like that? Well, of course, there would be. Yeah, it's you know, big ball game for us. But our, our, our deal is, we, you know, we want to win every week. You know, and that's, you know, we want to be 1 0 every week. So it's going to be a tremendous challenge. You know, we're going to have to play. We're going to play better than what we did last week. We really are. Part of it's first game. I, I really do. I think leverage is part of first game. You think you got the guy on your left shoulder and he crosses your face, and that's when the big plays occur. So, uh, yeah, I think a lot of that was was week one. You know, you just you can't tackle as much as you'd like to in preseason camp. You know, it's you got to do you got to be smart with the drills that you do to tackle. And, but it's hard to replicate space tackles, and that's what you know. You get better at it as the preseason progresses. Were you happy with your max? Uh, yeah, I thought in the second half, particularly in the fourth quarter, I thought we really ran the ball well. You know, I thought Makai Hughes had some excellent runs. I thought, uh, uh, you know, uh, obviously as a, uh, a big fumble we had in there, but uh, otherwise, I thought uh, I thought the guys ran pretty good. You know, there's that's another thing. You know, you. You know, you rep, you know, you do a lot of inside drill and a lot of team run, and you do it in scrimmages, but it's a little bit different, you know, you know what, what you're looking at and where your, you know, your path is when you're running the football. And, and I think those guys are going to, you know, uh, learn from week one. Played some good backs. Uh, is really good is. back. You know, I, he went over 1,500 yards. He's one of the top backs in the nation. Really uh, an excellent back. This will, you know, be, if not the best, one of the, the best running backs in the nation. Corey Blunt having a team got two starter caliber guys that aren't him, but for depth, are some of the other guys going to have to? Yeah, they're going to have to. You bet. Uh, you know, Jared Small. You know, Jared was in line to start at LSU uh, and uh, got hurt you know, a couple years ago, and he, he got. It was good. He got in there and he got to play last Saturday. Uh, Mandel Eugene, uh, we've got some really good freshman linebackers. So some guys are going to have to step up. They're going to have to have some, some more guys uh, play at that position. Have you thought much about, and maybe the Cotton Bowl helps with this, but, uh, you know, players can't, there's no way to kind of get the players to ignore the fact that this is one of the biggest games ever in the stadium, maybe the biggest. So you want to right manage their energy and focus.
serious amount of debate, right? Discipline, some level. Maybe having a lot of guys go through the cotton bowl. And you know, I think that might help them a little bit. I, you know, obviously a conference championship game is, is huge, you know, last year. So a lot of them experienced that. But I'm, I'm very consistent in, in my preparation every week. Hopefully that carries over to the guys. You know, this is, uh, you know, I'm, I try to have the same demeanor as I did when, uh, you know, when I was at Blake Junior College and head coach and we're playing Cisco in front of 50 people. That's what you get out there, you got to block out all that stuff. Everybody hey, good? Oh, really excited. I've, I've talked to him quite a few times and uh, really proud of him. And he's pumped. And, uh, you know, so uh, yeah, it's, yeah, that's going to be really exciting. He's, uh, he's had a great preseason camp. And I know he's looking forward to his first, you know, uh, Opportunity to play in the NFL and comes at home, so it's a neat deal for him and his family. They let him come to your game, or does he have meetings and stuff? I think he's I think he's coming to our game. Yeah, I think he might. We're trying to get him to raise the flag, so we'll see if that, that happens. Pretty good. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you.